Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Sudha Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically LT cable sizing. Okay. In previous video, we have already discussed about how to calculate the cable size for ST side means high tension side. Then LT side where we have learned how to calculate the cable size and cable run. So in this video, we will again continue towards the cable size calculation for other feeders. Okay. So before I start the session, I would like to request you if you are not a subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon. So you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So this is the feeder. So we have already calculated for this feeder one and feeder two. Now we will be going to calculate for cable size for feeder three, feeder four and feeder five and feeder six. Okay. So let's calculate from feeder three. So cable sizing for feeder three. So load connected load on feeder three is 200 kilowatts. So as you know that so V is as it is three phase so voltage is 415 now formula for active power is square root 3 v and i and cos 5 where v is voltage then i is current and cos 5 is power factor okay so here we during the cal calculation we consider 0 0.8 now let's put the value to calculate the load current according to this connected load so p divided by square root 3 v and cos 5 Let's put the value of P and B. So here P is 2000. Here we converted into watts. So let's multiply 2000 by 1000. Okay. So 1.732 is the value of a square root 3. And 415 is voltage. And 0 0.8 is power factor value. And if we calculate this value, it becomes 348 ampere so this is the full load current on feeder 3 now according to this full load current we will calculate the cable size okay so here so this is the full load current okay now according to this we will look into the lt cable catalog and we will find the cable size okay so here we are going for four core cable and uh, which will lay in air ambient okay so here if you look into this here 330 so 330 is under then this load current then we will move to higher one so 375 it will falls under this so if you look into the cable size it will 150 square mm okay so as per this catalog for feeder 3 cable size is 1 run 4 core 150 square mm copper xlp insulation armored cable so we selected for this feeder now move to feeder 4 similarly this is the power 70 kilowatt and voltage 415 and power is root 3 and then if you calculate the load current according to that then it become 1 to 1 ampere 100 to 21 ampere full load current on this feeder feeder 4 now as per this if you look into the cable catalog we'll find so this under 148 ampere so so 35 square mm cable will be selected as per this cable catalog okay so for feeder 4 cable size is 104 core 35 square mm copper and xlp armored cable now let's move to feeder 5 so total connected load for feeder 5 is 20 kilowatt according to this let's calculate the uh, current okay if you calculate all this it will become 35 ampere so here we have a calculated full load current on this feeder 5 as per this load is 35 ampere now let's look into the cable catalog okay according to this FLC full load current so here we have a 40 ampere so 4 square mm cable can be used in this feeder so one drone 4 core 4 square cable copper XLP armored cable then again let's move to the feeder feeder 6 so here connected load is 4 kilowatt 
so according to that p is 4 kilowatt so below the 5 kilowatt generally we have single phase so here we go to go to single phase calculation so v equal to 220 volt then p equal to vi cos y which is uh, active power let's calculate the full load current according to this load so p is 4 into 1000 which we have converted into watt and uh, let's put the value of voltage which is 220 and cos phi is power factor which is 0 0.8 now if we calculate all these it will become 23 ampere so this is the load current which will connected on this figure 6 so according to this we will calculate the cable size from the cable catalog so here we are going for single phase power supply so we select two core cables okay so here our current is 23 ampere so better to go with surface side so we use this one 4 square mm 2 core cable okay so for figure 6 as well 1 run 2 core 4 square mm copper xlp cable armor cable will be selected so in this way we can calculate the uh, cable size for every feeder if we design the dv of dv as for the loads feeders okay so hope you guys understand about how to select the cable size okay so thank you for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video